this video, we're going to sum up and explain regular show cartoon from start to end. Let's start. Life in the regular show cartoon is not limited to what there is on Earth, but it represents the world with an unlimited number of planets that many creatures with different sizes and colors live on, and on these planets, there are two of the most powerful characters in the world, Mega Cranus and Malum Cranus. Mega was the perfect character that represents life and indecency in life until the birth of Malum, the evil destructive one who is the total opposite of Mega. The two never got along until one day when they ended up in a tied battle and a new world was made. Every time they tie the battle, the world renews itself. The show is a never-ending episode that repeats itself because of the Cranus brothers. There has been 30 battles, not just one, throughout 14 million years, and every 14 million years they engage in a tied battle so the world gets remade. This means that the world prospers and grows only to be destroyed again and again each time the battle happens in Lollyland, Mega Cranus's home. Now, before we get around to talking about Rigby and Mordecai, we have to go back to the start, from the day the park was built by a man called Curtis Montgomery, and we can assume he has a statue in his honor in the middle of the park. But people didn't know it was him. The heir, Jebediah Townhouse, emerged with a house for 200 years until the house became Maillard. He was a rich man, but he became even richer by his inheritance. He also went to war and slept with open eyes. The man used to collect shooting stars, and one day, one of the shooting stars was a baby. He named this baby Pops Maillard, not knowing he was Mega because he looked like an old man and he had a script in his hands. In this script was the story of the Cranus brothers in the universe and their battle. Pops lived 100 years on Earth, a lavish life in his own world, until one day he saw something weird in his telescope. By this time, his father bought him a voice recorder that was always on fire. His dad was always busy and strict on him, so he kept himself entertained by watching space and he always wished to see a planet called Lollyland that appears every 25 years, not knowing its name and not knowing why he's so attracted to it. Okay, let's talk about Skip. Skip lived a very long time because he's immortal, but how did he become immortal? Well, let's go back to the start. He worked with Samson as a tornadoes hunter in the 18th century. One day, he got into a fight inside the tornado with some time travelers, a blue bird and a brown raccoon. Skip and Samson split, and each one ends up living their own life. Skip decides to go back to school, but since he was a troublemaker, he was kicked out several times and rejected by many schools until one school finally accepted him. The principal of the school looks so much like Benson, who might actually be his grandfather. Skip gets to know Mona, his love, and until here, he was called Alex, but after failing, he changed it. We also get to know Gradians of Eternal Youth and their youngest sibling who has one single goal in his life, which is to defeat Skip and control the world. One day, Skip decides to fight him, despite Mona trying to talk him out of it, as she was scared of losing him, so he finally doesn't. Then the day of their wedding comes, and Skip couldn't avoid the fight anymore. It's here where he lost Mona during the battle. Then the Guardians of Eternal Youth suggest that he becomes immortal in order to fight the danger that is coming to Earth in many years. So he changed his name to Skip in homage of Mona. Skip then starts working at the park until now. He also has a cousin who is a clown, but that's not important. Muscle Man. Let's talk about him. He's an annoying man and says lame jokes that he remembers from his father. Muscle Man was so proud of his dad, thinking he was a truck driver, while in fact he guarded boxes only. At one point in life, people stopped calling him by his name, but instead they started calling him Muscle Man. This was the day he saved his dad from dying by the gym's weights. It was right then that his muscles showed up instantly. He thought that the nickname was silly, but he accepted it. One day, Muscle Man felt that it was time to retire from bodybuilding and participate in eating competitions, so he became fat but won a truck house. Muscle Man was in high school when he met a popular ghost and felt jealous of him. One day they decided to do a race in a close by park, but they both ended up crashing into a rock that exploded and left a hole. Muscle Man fell into it, but the ghost saved him, and ever since that day, they became best friends, and the hole was still there for many years. 
The hole was in the Maillard Park where Pops and his dad live. Now we're going to talk about Benson. His story is actually quite nice. When he was a little kid, or rather a small candy vending machine, his family used to argue a lot. Hence, he is always mad. His parents tried to understand him but couldn't and thought he had love problems. Therefore, he was addicted to spicy chicken wings and mayonnaise. He used to do some stupid things and ruin his relationships. And although he gained lots of friends, his sadness never left him. He was also successful, like when he won the Hockey World Cup and played drums in a really popular band, until he was replaced by a machine out of jealousy. The way he lost his hair was when he participated in a game show, but he lost it. He finally joined the park staff after winning a golden watch. And now, we're finally going to talk about Mordecai and Rigby. These two knew each other since they were babies. It was then where they started celebrating birthdays instead of Christmas, because they stopped believing in Santa Claus. Rigby had a brother named Don, who he hated because the brother grew up, while he stayed small, and his friends also liked his brother Don more than him. People also thought he was the youngest sibling, but he was in fact older. Their parents appreciated Don more than Rigby as well, but he got used to that. The irony is that even though Rigby hated Don, Don admired him so much, to the point where he stopped wearing clothes when Rigby did. Don grew up to be a successful accountant, but Rigby started working at the park. The only friend Rigby has was Mordecai. He was a cool kid who played saxophone, and in 7th grade he used to produce music too. He hung out for 12 years at Rigby's house, watching TV and eating cereal, before they then decided to go to college together, but Rigby wasn't really good at studying. The PE teacher didn't like Rigby much and asked him to do a project on his own if he wanted to pass, and showed them his time machine. Rigby then decided his project was to steal the time machine, and later on, he received a letter from college telling him he was not accepted into it, but Mordecai was. This means they would split up and not stay friends anymore. Rigby changed the results and made Mordecai think that he was rejected by the university, but Mordecai didn't give up. So he decided to use the broken time machine to get accepted into the university. But instead of fixing it, they created a time tornado and caused huge problems in the future. The world went upside down because Rigby lied to Mordecai. In the future, Mordecai and Rigby didn't go to college, and Rigby didn't even graduate high school. But Mordecai went to college while playing saxophone for a short time, but then left and wanted to study art instead. This also didn't last because he wasn't talented enough. He even lost his TV and couldn't pay for food. Rigby was again his roommate at the time, and because they were both failures, they went to work at the park. Their relationship with their co-workers wasn't good at first, especially with Muscle Man. He bullied them a lot, and they weren't able to do anything out of fear of getting fired, so they made up. They were 23 and stayed at the park because it was rent-free. Mordecai fell in love with the girl working at the cafe shop, Margaret, as well, and she was of the same kind as him. There is a small detail in the beginning of the first episode that would affect the ending of the cartoon, and that we'll discover later on. But in the episode, they got a piano that teleported them into time and space. Mordecai tried to charm Margaret and flirt with her, so he met the unicorns who helped him attract women, but it turned out they were making fun of him. After a few episodes, Mordecai and Rigby were making jokes on the phone, only to discover it was a magic phone, and they traveled to the 80s when they ran over Pops. Later on, we get to see how Rigby and his brother Don's relationship got better, and how they hug each other by the end of the episode. In a another try, Mordecai offered to help Margaret move out so that he could take a chance to ask her out. Rigby did instead of him because he wanted to tease him and make fun of him. Mordecai then decided to ruin their date by changing the time, so he put all the watches in the microwave, but he causes a tornado in space and time, so Rigby dies. But then Mordecai asks the father time to let him go back in time to save Rigby. Later on, Benson gets fired because of Mordecai and Rigby because they destroyed Mr. Maillard's limousine, but they got him back when they get to know that the new head is crazy. Mordecai went back to his routine until the day Muscle Man and Starla broke up and everyone tried to get them back together because Muscle Man was sad and wasn't doing his work anymore. Mordecai then got with her and she tried to kill him when she discovered that he doesn't have feelings for her and was just pretending. But luckily, Muscle Man intervened and saved him. 
Muscle Man started working again. A few episodes later, Rigby died when Skip took out his arm while they were arm wrestling, when he discovered that Rigby was cheating. Skip then tried to get him back, so he arm wrestled death and won. Rigby came back to life. The next episodes were about Margaret and Mordecai's relationship development. In the next episodes, we see Benson's anger issues. He was mad because of Mordecai and Rigby and didn't do his job, so Maylard threatens to fire him if he doesn't stop screaming, but instead of calming down, he got even madder and burned like the sun. Benson tried to fire Rigby and Mordecai later and hired new trainees, but Mordecai and Rigby didn't care because they knew no one would want to work in such a job. Skip got injured because of Mordecai and Rigby while he had to fight Clogbane another time, but they helped him defeat Clogbane using Skip's gloves just like video game. Muscle Man died because of Rigby and Mordecai, and to save him, the two suggested they take care of Death's son and put him to sleep, which ends up saving Muscle Man. In the next episodes, Mordecai tried to kiss Margaret, but she embarrassed him by saying his mouth smelled funny. They still kissed, but Mordecai couldn't take the first step despite the kiss. Fast forward to Starla and Muscle Man's wedding. Most of the episodes in the 6th and 7th season were about how Rigby and Mordecai wanted to date girls. By this time, the movie was released in 2015, which Mordecai discovered that Rigby was the reason he never went to college, which would cause a war between them and Rigby going back to the past to kill Mordecai. So Rigby of the present went back to the past to destroy the time machine, but he only made things worse and caused a tornado that wanted to destroy the entire universe. However, again, they somehow managed to save the world. The dome came later on when Maylard decided it was a good idea to do research in the park and make it an ecological environment under security by some scientists for an entire month. And of course, in exchange for money. Benson investigated the case and discovers that the dome and the park as a whole will be sent into space. So he tried to get everyone out and he made it. Life went back to normal, Mordecai dated Margaret, Rigby went back to school to finish his studies, and even went with Benson to China to study a new language. A new dome appeared that they come out of and get in this time, but this time the scientists put a huge button inside and asked them not to press on it while they were spying on them. This time, Benson fell in love with Pam, a scientist who he agreed with to be together after all this ends. Pops finally got to see the planet and discovered it was his homeland. He also used his powers to be able to see the planet and it was then when we discovered his real powers. Rigby graduated high school and Eileen college. The whole park staff decided to press on the button and were sent into space alongside many parks around the world. They had to live in space without technology, or so they thought. Two people came up to them and took them to the tree space stations where they discovered there were many space stations and there's a war between them. They also told them that there is a secret mission that would change the entire world. Benson, however, wasn't convinced with all of that, so he just returned to Earth. But he actually didn't because he was in a simulator, so he then agreed to go with them. In the middle of all this mess, Pops realizes someone was trying to kill him his brother Malum Cranus, or Anti-Pops. Rigby and Mordecai were training with the spaceships thinking they were in a video game through a simulator. When the colonel was ready to send them to a new planet after they finished their training, Malum attacked and destroyed their ship, but they managed to escape. While traveling, they find a video of Pops and Maylord telling his life story. Pops discovered his past and trained with Master Earl. He became strong in a short time, but he didn't want to fight. He wanted to make up with Malum, but it was useless. As expected, Anti-Pops didn't want peace, so he attacked Pops, but his trainer sacrificed himself to save him. Everyone died while Mordecai and Rigby were in the middle of the battle. No! and wanted to go back in time, which was the first episode, but again, it was useless. They then realized what happened, so they used the magical piano that we previously talked about and made it to the battle again. Pops contained his anger because his friends didn't die. Pops attacked Anti-Pops with a hug and sacrificed himself by floating off into the sun. Everything exploded once again, but this time the universe won't recreate itself because the brothers died in the sun. Dome then went back to Earth 
Mordecai left Rigby and the park, so they went on their lives separately. Mordecai became an artist and met the real love of his life, Rigby lived with Eileen, and Benson with Pam, and they stay in the park alongside Skip. After 25 years, they got together again, and it was the last time that we saw them, older, living their lives normally. <laughs> <Whoa>! <laughs>